Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VCA Wrestling. We're coming out of a hot show this past Saturday at VCA's anniversary event. But this man, right in front of you, Captain Justice, he has been the talk of the town. He has turned his back on all his fans and his Shut friends up. as he choke slammed Michael Clark, leaving the world speechless. Let's see what he has to say about it. Here tonight. Everybody wants to know what's going on with Captain Justice. Everybody wants to know why I did what I did to Michael the Radio Clark. <laughs> we all want to know, Justice. Uh, You know why I did it? You really want to know why I did that to Mike? Because he deserved it. And I'll do it a thousand more times, too. It doesn't matter what he did. What are you doing? I'm sick of coming out here, giving y'all my candy, and giving y'all my stuff every week, because that's the only reason why you cheer for me. That's the only reason why you cheer for me. Yeah, I know. I come out here every week. Hey, shut up! I'm talking. Shut up! It's amazing how much one man can change in a week. I'm trying to talk. I come out here each and every week. Shut. Your mouth. Have some respect. All right. I come out here every week, saving the likes of Michael, saving the likes of Daniel, saving the likes of Dwayne. And even you, Big Tiny. But whenever the cabinet come out here and jumps on me, I'm always laying flat on my back in the ring. But nobody helping me. You know what? From now on, from now on, you gonna follow your own damn candy. You don't like it? I did what I had to do. I don't think anybody cares about me. Even the guys in the back. Even the guys in the back don't respect me. But it's gonna change. You don't want to take the captain off my name. I'm nobody's captain. You mean I have to. Justice changing his name. It feels good to not be dropped by candy anymore. It feels like the burden has been lifted off of me. I don't have to come out here and save anybody anymore. Because I don't care anymore. I want to know what lit the spark into Justice. Why, why is he doing the things that he's doing? Why is he changing his ways? The familiar music we heard on last Saturday for the very first time. This should be Dwayne. Let's see what I think it is. And it is, it's Dwayne. Dwayne is in the building. What's he got to say about Captain Justice and his actions from last week? Playing a former referee here at BCA. Referee, but dropkick Terry Ray in the back. Terry Ray put him in his very first match at the anniversary event this past Saturday against Simba. 
he is not afraid to speak his mind. Yo, what is your problem, honey? Really, what is your problem? What you did last week was not cool at all. That was just cool. Mike bumped his butt to the big brooks. Yeah, he's got a point here. Mike was his butt out here. And you ain't a big ass in him? Yeah, I did. You ain't a big ass in him? Yeah, I did. So what? Now, whoa. Now, you didn't just, you didn't let my brother down. You let these bands down, dude. Yes, you did, Justice. You know what? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Justin, right? 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 Justin, Dwayne challenging the seven foot tall Captain Justice. Dwayne is not backing out from a fight. Justice. Dwayne's got some real in his step tonight. Coming out here and challenging Cap, excuse me, challenging Justice to a match here. Second ever wrestling match. We're going up against a former heavyweight champion, Justice. Dwayne with some blows to the chest of Justice, but he's not budging. He's not going to whip across that ring, but a kick to the gut. Justice reverses, whips Dwayne in, and a hip toss onto the former referee, Dwayne. Dwayne doing the smart thing here and going to the outside for a breather. You can't just have your very first match and lose to Simba. You come in here and challenge a former heavyweight champion and Captain Ju excuse me, and Justice. You have to take a minute to get used to the name change. We've been calling him Captain Justice for so long now. It's become second nature. Justice with the headlock. An impromptu headlock on the lane. Ah. Headlock takeover. Chess is getting up and delivering an elbow to the chest of Dwayne. Picking him up once again. Seven feet in the air. A potty slam. I don't think Dwayne knows what he got himself into. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind everybody that Saturday, December 1st, PCA Wrestling presents Extravaganza. It's going to be the biggest show of the year. Live from the VCA studio here at 4275 Winchester Road, Suite 3594 in Memphis, Tennessee. Beautiful leg drop. But to no avail, Dwayne gets out of the way. So he starts out for VCA's extravaganza event at 7.30 p.m. The doors will open at 7 o'clock. You want to be here as soon as you can because it's going to be a sellout event, no doubt. All tickets are going to be $12. All tickets are going to be $12 for kids and adults. Special start time is 7.30. Dwayne on the top rope. Going for another drop kick. He's going to hit it, and he does. Grazes the shoulder of Justice, bringing the big man down. This time for a two count. Dwayne's rushing into this offense. He hits one move and he goes straight into the next one. I don't know if that's the best strategy for Dwayne. Again, he's not a fully trained wrestler. He's been trained for the past couple weeks and ready for his match last Saturday. That's all the training he's had. He's only been trained as a referee. Our referees do train vigorously to make sure that they know all the rules and all, everything they can know about professional wrestling. Dwayne was the leader of the class. Professional wrestling referee here in this game. Justice. Back in the 
pad and playing into that turnbuckle. That pattern is only a half inch thick. There's a metal hook that underneath that turnbuckle pattern. He is just right. This is not a man. Barely grabbing that bottom rope. Adjusting him at the time. Saves himself from that three count. I, I, I don't know if he wants to do that. I don't know if he needs to do that. The longer he stays in this match, the more beat up he's going to get. I don't know why he thought he could beat Justice here tonight. I'm not trying to put anything out on Dwayne, but he, like I said, he's only had a couple of weeks of wrestling experience. This is only his second match ever. Justice, a former heavyweight champion, wrestling a former referee. That, that's a big difference. That is a big difference. Justice not having any idiot from the fans. Going over to Dwayne. Picking him up, telling the referee to get out of his way. Moving Dwayne into the corner. Going for a big splash, but Dwayne moves out of the way. Schoolboy roll up by Dwayne. That gives that two count. Probably the closest Dwayne will get to winning tonight. Kick to the shoulder of Captain Justice. With him off the ropes to Justice. Versus once again and hits him with that big boot, that signature boot. Their straps are off. Justice is saying the end is coming. Signaling for that choke slam. Just his finishing maneuver. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody kick out of that choke slam that Captain Justice does. Bring you 7 feet plus into the air and driving it to the mat with that full force. Come on, bring it out of the way. He's got it cinched in. Say goodnight, Wayne. That's all she wrote. One, two, three. Referee ring the bell. Captain Justice demanding the referee do his job. What kind of man has Captain Justice become? A week ago, a week ago, he was he was beloved by all the fans, and look at him now. I don't know what to say. Just like last Saturday, I'm left like speechless. Out comes the owner of VCA Wrestling, Tara Ray. Tara Ray is the one who made Dwayne a professional wrestler just weeks ago, putting him in a match against her own cabinet member, Simba. And you know what I'm going to share with you, 
I'm scared to ask. What? All the spotlights. Look at us. We're like a, 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 a modern day Bonnie and Clyde. Or, oh, who is that? Better than the two stupid dogs. No, we can better friends than Lemon and Stupid. Look at us. We're both champions. We're both champions. We have a lot of time. So, Oh, what do you say, man? Do you want to be a friend? No. Offering a partnership. Y'all can hear? We're matching. My hair matches your outfit. I mean, you know, you're probably the reason why I'm happy tonight. But, give me a fight. Cut that one in. Definitely here tonight.
he's on Facebook Live and he only gonna have one person watching him or something. And we know that's probably only gonna, only gonna be Kathy or something. So, I heard what you said, Tiny. And let's be honest. Yeah, extravaganza is approaching. And let's be honest, you probably won't even be the heavyweight champ out here. It's true. But what will occur, we will still be the VCA Tag Team Champions. Y'all might have said that. Look at this. She, she, she throwing a face at me. I ain't even said that yet. I ain't said nothing. Well, what the? Dang, what the hell you got on your head? <laughs> Would you please give the Wayne Farm a wig back? Please give the Wayne Farm a wig back. Please. That's a wig she wear on Saturday night when she go out to eat. Please give that woman a wig back, Daniel. Please give her a wig back. Now, Tiny, I can understand why you and Daniel. Don't start with her. You know she's pregnant. But, uh, Tiny, I can understand why you're teaming with Daniel. I'm talking about you and Mr. Calvin having a baby. Oh. But oh, we ain't gonna get on you. They have it. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Ty, they having a bad real one. Miss Kathy paid me, she a cougar. Now, <laughs> Tiny and Daniel, I can understand why y'all team up. You know, Big Tiny, Big Tiny done did some time back in the day. Yeah. So Tiny told oh, Daniel, I'll take the bottom bunk, you take the top bunk. And I want you to watch my draws. But you know, Dad, you gotta worry about that because he ain't got no ass. But I'm. Oh, <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> but what we about to go up in here and do. I mean, we about, you got that much behind you, But you got a lot of pork behind you, don't baby? Yeah. That's, two that's, sli that's two slabs of ribs right yeah. back <laughs> Come on, come on. Tiny, we about to get in here and put your fat butt on your back. Man. You are not the big man on campus. I'm the big dog on campus, bro. You ain't about nothing. You are a piece of crap. Daniels, he belongs to the LGT F community or whatever it is. But I'm going to get in here and do what I do best, and that's entertain because everybody pay their money to see me. And you know what I tell you? If you got a problem with that, I done told her she can kiss my, but I ain't going to say it. And if you got a problem oh, with me, I'll smack the wig off your head. Please, and please, I didn't even say nothing to you, but since you want to start, your boyfriend wasn't mad enough to beat me on his own. He had to low blow me, Malik. He had to hit me below the belt. Mike had to low blow me. Then he had to use my own cane to put me down because he know he's not half the man I am. His grandma can tell you he's not half the man I am. But I mean, what does she know? What you see is what you get. She raised losers. I mean. She could move to our race, so I expect Mike to be a loser. So, the greatest show on earth is issuing a tag team title challenge to any punks that want to go up our belt at extravaganza. I called Jerry Law. I called Donald Trump. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. We'll take on the two rubber girls, Tiny. We'll take on the two tons of punk. <laughs> It don't matter. We'll take on D and her ego. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. She got you know what? D can get her grandkids. How many grandkids she got to get? She can fight me. <laughs> Where you going? To the to the buffet line? The buffet? We closed. You get out of here. You do what? You too big. D went to chow time. They said, you go. You leave. You eat too much. <laughs> And we have the tag team champions, the greatest show on earth, going up against the VCA Junior Vative champion, Daniel Miraculous, and the VCA heavyweight champion, Big Tiny. It's gonna be a crazy match here tonight. This, and this isn't even the main event. Referee Tab is checking on the competitors this evening. Daniel Miraculous checking referee Tavis. See if he has any four arms that the Daniel could use. Referee Tavis just trying to do his job. Daniel up to his shenanigans. Big time on the outside of the ring. He may be reluctant to team with the with the interesting Daniel Miraculous. Well, I have all the 
faith in the world that the Big Tiny, the VCA heavyweight champion, representing VCA very well. Brooks challenge referee to check on Big Tiny. See if he has any objects. <laughs> Miraculous wants to see it as well. I have all the faith that Big Tiny does not have any foreign objects on him. <laughs> Referee Tab is checking Brooks now. Not going here be shame. We a nice, clean, fair matchup. Oh, come on, Daniel. Referee checking Brooks. What's Daniel doing? And a slap when the sun don't shine. Daniel jumps out of there, gets the heck out of Dodge. I think Brooks thinks it's going to be a fun matchup, but he's stepping the ring with the tag team champions. They mean straight business. This past Saturday night at BCA's anniversary event, Brooks went one on one with Michael the Radio Clark to determine the new number one contender. And Michael Clark, at the best of Brooks, used his own dirty tactics against him and cheated to win. But some people say that's not what Michael should have done. Michael should have won fair and square. But when you're going up against someone like Brooks, someone like Brooks, Brooks is someone who would do anything to secure a win. And like he was about to, he. About to use that same exact weapon that Michael Clark used, but Michael turned it around and used it against Brooks himself and got the championship opportunity in the future. The bell's officially wrong. We have Daniel Miraculous on his team, teaming up with Big Tiny, going up against Brooks. Their team, the greatest show on earth, VCA Tag Team Champions. Daniel Miraculous has been VCA Junior Beta Champion since June, defeating the likes of Ace. Jackson Crowley, amongst many other international superstars. Daniel Miraculous, he has proved time in and time out that he is the greatest VCA Junior Beta Champion. This works. I uh, won't disagree with you. And on the other side of the ring, we have Brooks with his team, the greatest show on earth, VCA Tag Team Champions. This is their second reign right now. and. Their first reign was record-breaking, spanning over a year and a half before being defeated by Big Country, Xander Reigns, and Big Tiny, the man on the opposite side of the ring right now. And a lock up between these two individuals. Daniel with the upper hand and a shoulder block by Daniel. And an arm drag with an arm lock takeover. And referee Tavis has to break the hold. Brooks isn't used to being out wrestled here. He's one of the best wrestlers we have here in VCA. What's this? He's coming up with some kind of excuse or something. Ah, come on, Brooks. Brooks telling the referee that Daniel pulled his hair. Do not to that. It's definitely not the case. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go to our second break here tonight. We'll be right back with more VCA Wrestling. We are back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VCA. Brooks is in the ring right now with Daniel Miraculous. The tag team champions are facing the heavyweight champion and the junior beta champion. In an all-star tag team match here on a Friday night. with a snap here from the corner. That's up the rope for a quick elbow drop on Daniel Miraculous. Only gets a one count, the Junior Bay Champion kicking out with ease. Rook throwing Daniel's head into the turnbuckle. Daniel to the other side. Going for that splash, but Daniel gets out of the way. What's Daniel have in mind here? We've all seen this before, Daniel pulling up his britches. 
going for that signature stink face. Brooks moves out of the way and Daniel does not care. He wants to shove that rear end of his into something. Don't take that out of context, ladies and gentlemen. Brooks taking a little bit of a breather now, knowing what he could have just got himself into. Daniel saying he was this close. Brooks' face a ride that he'll never forget. Brooks stepping into the ring, break the counter, and a quick tag to Malik. Malik was no part of this. He doesn't want to go up against Daniel Miraculous. One of the best drags about Daniel is that his flamboyancy is probably his strongest feature. Look at this. Daniel says he's ready. Malik says he doesn't want no part of that. Both men go into the back, but they have until the count of 10 to get back out here. Right? I don't know what the strategy is here. Oh. Bringing the owner of BCA out. Terry Ray telling him to finish the match. Let's go on five. Six now. Daniel with legs still spread open wide in the air. Open invitation for Malik to come inside the ring, that is. And then we're going to his corner. Malik and his. Timeout. He's calling a timeout, but there is no timeout here in VCA. They're going for that pan, but I know Brooks has had enough of it. You want who they want. Uh, Malik, Malik might have, uh, might have a challenge ahead of him. Big Tony steps into the ring, the new legal man in this contest. UCA heavyweight champion, he was no one to play with. Big Tony a little shook about what he just saw from his own tag team partner. Two completely different styles. Teaming up here tonight in a lockup, but to no avail. Malik goes for another one. Just throwing back again. I don't know what he's thinking here. The big Tiny is not someone you can just square up against. You have to come up with some kind of strategy. Malik has a shrink. But he goes back to a waist block on Big Tiny. It's gonna take a lot more than that to take that big man down, grabbing the arms and, and a hip thrust straight into Malik's abdomen area. He knocked the wind out of him, but Malik, veteran nature of Malik, breaking the eyes of the big man, Big Tiny. Grabbing him in the headlock now. The man down to his knees. And I believe Malik is using his teeth on the forehead of Big Tiny. And again, Malik knows he can't bring Big Tiny down without using their own dirty tactics against them. Using his own mouth to bite the head of Big Tiny. But it is working. Big Tiny is down on his knees now from the headlock and those teeth. Rushing to the back of his head, but Big Tiny regaining his focus, regaining his strength. Pushing Malik off, but Malik said, you're not getting off that easy. Grabbing Big Tiny again in another headlock. Malik bringing the big man down once more. Using his teeth again. The referee needs to enforce that rule. There is no biting in a professional wrestling ring. Pushing Malik off the ropes. And a shoulder block by Big Tiny. And another one. And another one making DJ Khaled proud. Big Tiny bringing DCA Tag Team Champion into the corner. Ooh, another eye rake it looks like from Malik. Going for a whip, Tiny reverses. Malik slides underneath, going for an Enziguri maybe, but 
Johnny spins him around, going for that back suplex. Malik pushing himself off. He's going into that guardrail. That has to hurt. Does not phase the tag team champion one bit. Malik bouncing off the back into another shoulder tackle by the heavyweight champion, Big Tiny. Malik is a veteran in this sport. He is. He has been in this business for many years. He knows what he needs to put down that champion. And had some big tiny getting the records. Now the new legal man contest referee not enforcing the rule of getting the new legal man out of there, but big tiny, the man he is, he's a, he plays fair and square. Daniel stopping him in his tracks. More than that style. What's this? An impressive roll up. That was so nice. Let's see it twice. An impressive counter. Over look back, Malik's got Daniel Miraculous hung up against those ropes, choking him. Around. Brooks is beating on Daniel while Malik has got the referee distracted, it seems. And look at that. They didn't even tag. The referee didn't see it, but he sure did hear it. Brooks with a neck breaker to Daniel Miraculous. And the tag team champions have issued a challenge to anybody who wants to face them at Extravaganza. And they will said they will put up their tag team champions championships and going Daniel inside of the ring. And you didn't notice that Brooks, who's got the attention of Big Tiny to get into the ring and the referee has to stop the illegal man from entering. But while he did so, he threw Daniel to the outside of the ring. So Malik, his own partner, beat him up for him. Using the ring as a weapon and a low blow by Brooks. I don't know if we got all of that. Screaming in pain. I have to knock the air out of you. And Malik grabbing Daniel and Brooks stomping him in the corner. Tab, referee Tab is coming awfully slow. Tab is made and Malik is on the inside of the ring. Brooks using his foot, stomping on top of Daniel's head. Tag Team Champions, like I say, time and time again, they know exactly what they are doing. And he's running ahead of Daniel into the corner. Grinding his face into that rope. Veteran tactics by the Tag Team Champion, Malik. Flipping snap there and a kick to the chest. Bringing the Junior Vader champion down, and that was a that was seen like a quick count. Referee Tavis, I don't know if that was an accident. It seems like he's almost playing in favor the tag team champions. It seems. Guys in the eyes. Malik doing. Malik trying to wear down the Junior Vader champion getting miraculous here. Going to secure the win for their team tonight. Going for a body snow. Looks like a backbreaker. An attack from the champions. And it's not the legal man. Brooks off the middle rope for that diving forearm splash onto Dan Daniel Marax's head. Daniel needs to make that tag. Daniel needs to tag in his tag team partner, Big Tiny. Right now, he's not looking good for Daniel Miraculous. Brooks. Grabbing an elbow into his ribcage. Grabbing Malik for extra, extra leverage on that hold there. Stretching the side of Daniel, and Daniel reverses it into his own hip toss. 
Both men are down. Daniel Lee's made that tag. Malik gets the tag on Brooks. Excuse me, Brooks gets the tag on Malik. Malik running in and stopping the count. Stopping Daniel Marekis in his track. I hate you. Malik telling him that he's a better champion. He hates him. Hate is a strong word, and Malik has no problem dishing it out for him. Both men are inside the ring now. I don't know if they made a tag or not. I, it looks like they did. And look at this, look at this. Malik. Malik and Brooks, they are the perfect tag team. Using every single distraction from the referee to their advantage. Going for that sunset flip, and he gets it. Nearly a two count. Brooks with the running elbow. Daniel Marakis in the face. Bringing the champion down. Brooks is kicking the face of Daniel. Daniel needs to make that tag. He needs to get to his corner. Brooks and Malik is having him in their corner the entire matchup. Shot to the guy by Daniel. Once more. Ah, that's not enough to stop Brooks right to the eyes. And the, and the referee didn't even do anything. He didn't try to enforce the eye at all. Brooks sitting him to the corner from the league for some reason. Trying to do some kind of dirty move. And no, Daniel Rackers turns it around, tags in his tag team partner, Big Tiny. Big Tiny, but... What's it? Oh, no, the referee didn't even see the tag. The referee didn't even see it. Brooks bringing Daniel to the corner. <laughs> He didn't even tag in his own partner. Referee not doing anything about it. He hears a tag, but he doesn't see it. Referee going ahead and let the tag team champions make that switch. Malik with the speed on the rope. Referee sees that. No choice but to stop him. Surprised to let him not get away with that. Malik bringing in the junior band of championships. Feed in a vicious forearm shot. To the jaw of Daniel bringing the junior fated champion down. Going for another penitent here. Daniel barely kicking out. Tag team champions are doing everything they can to wear down. Uh, excuse me, Daniel Miraculous and Big Tiny. What's this? Brooks has a sign. It's a steel sign. Straight to the back of the leg. Chopped him right in the back and a shot to his knee. And one last one to the back of Daniel Miraculous. Just for good measure. Oh, and Daniel back in the ring. And we go for a cover. This could be it. One, two, and kick out by Daniel Miraculous. Going for a headlock. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. We're going to take another break right now. And we'll be back in just a moment. We are back here at VCA Wrestling. Malik, before we left for the break, he locked in the headlock. For the past few minutes, he has cinched that in. He really took a toll on Daniel, but Daniel finally getting the wherewithal to get out of that hold. Dodging a couple attacks and a rear end from Daniel Miraculous, bringing the tag team champion down. This could be all he needs. He needs to tag in Big Tiny. He needs to make that tag to save this matchup. Malik tags in his partner, and Daniel tags in Big Tiny. The heavyweight champion is in the ring. He's now the legal man, and he means business. Two clotheslines to the tag team champion, Brooks. And an STO from the heavyweight champion. Going for a pen attempt. Malik has not left the ring yet and breaks the count. And Daniel with the knee to Malik. Daniel trying to take care of Malik on the outside. 
Good measure. Big Tony. Tony's distracted. Trying to get Malik out of there. Brooks jumping on the... What is Brooks thinking? What is Brooks doing? And the devastating jaw breaker from Big Tiny. Bringing the tag team champion down and the straps are off. It's time. The end is near. Big Tiny, he wants to lock in. A double handed choke slam, power bomb. And what's this? Elite grabbing him by the wrist. You gotta do more than that to try to take the big man down. And Big Tiny bringing Malik up to the apron. What's, what's, what's Brooks doing though? Brooks grabbing that signature cane. He must have stashed it in there earlier. Brooks with that cane that led that led into the to that cane and smacking Big Tiny in the jaw, bringing the heavyweight champion down. Referee, the referee didn't see it. Oh my goodness. Brooks just defeated the VCA heavyweight champion. Brooks just pinned Big Tiny. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't. Big Tiny, he didn't go down without a fight. But the left head of that cane smashing against the jaw of Big Tiny. Free didn't see anything because he was so distracted by Malik. And Brooks! Once more to the jaw of Big Tiny. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. opportunity this past Saturday at DCA's anniversary. Tara Ray said she doesn't care. She's the owner. She's the boss. She can do what she wants. So she's letting her little lackey, the Chicago Kid Q, get his opportunity. The same thing Michael Clark has. Michael Clark, he is not happy about this one bit. Michael Clark and Q. They have history between the two, competing in a boys in the hood match just a few months back, putting bumps and bruises on both men, and Cube sliding outside of the ring, trying to get some of Classy Terra Ray, how you win this thing. What's Michael Clark doing? And a vicious suicide dive, let's see that one more time. Michael Clark bringing Q back into the ring. A splash from the outside. Q kicks out. Q has been aligning himself with the cabinet who just got disbanded this past Saturday. But his alliance with Tara Ray still seems intact. Tara Ray coming out with Q this evening. Q's son, GCA heavyweight champion Big Tiny. Big Tiny and Q are no father and son duo I've ever seen though. Big Tiny a few years back was in a very terrible car accident. And Q on multiple different occasions has said that he wished his father never walked out of that car accident alive. I don't know what kind of son would ever wish that upon their father. But Q, Q was just, he stumbled that low, aligning himself with Terry Ray and the rest of the cabinet. He whipping Michael Clark off the ropes on his leg sweep. Michael Clark, leg sweep of his own. 
Hugh sweeping the legs of Michael this time. And <laughs> Impressive double kip up by both the young men. If you want to see action like this, we do shows every single Friday night at 8 o'clock. The VCA studio located at 4275 Winchester Road here in Memphis, Tennessee. Tickets are only $12. You telling Michael, you think you can beat me. Michael delivering that forearm and another an exchange of blows here between Q and Michael Clark. Michael getting the upper hand, whipping Q off into the ropes. Q coming back. Reverse and a devastating clothesline. We're going to take our last break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back for the rest of your main event. And we are back, and Q is setting up Michael Clark on the top rope. Going for, it looks like a superplex maneuver. Just to get that arm up, and Michael Clark destroying the ribcage. Of Q shoving him off the top. Q crashing down on the mat. Michael Clark gets a kick to the side of the head, setting him down to the ring canvas. Q rolling over. Hopefully getting the win for this evening, and Michael Clark barely gets that shoulder up. He is frustrated here. He's been trying to put down the number one contender for some time now. Clark looks like this could be it. Michael Clark looks out of it. Super flex maneuver, and he hits it. Michael Clark is down and out. He has to pin him. It could be it. And that kick out. Wrestling fans, I want to remind you that VCA will present Extravaganza live Saturday, December 1st from the VCA studio, the only place you can watch the biggest show of the year. We also have shows every single Friday night live in the VCA studio at 4275 Winchester Road, 3594. You see the address on your screen now. Every Friday night at 8 o'clock. If you want to watch and witness the action that we're seeing right here. And Curry almost putting down the number one contender. She says it's over. This could be it. You with his signature move, leaping moonsault from the middle rope. Springboard moonsault. Michael Clark is cutting him off. Going against Brooks. And a kick to the leg, bringing the man down to his knees, and a super kick to the chin of Michael Clark. This could be it. One, two, and a kick out by Michael, the number one contender still stands. He looks frustrated. He says he won, but I don't know if he even realized that the shoulder was up. Tara Ray looking on, telling Q to finish him. He's saying what? Going to the top rope. It looks like. What's Q got in store for Michael Clark here? And that's one time, Bob, but he misses. Michael Clark. Just evaded him. And Michael Clark trying to get all the energy he can. That maneuver could have just saved Michael. Getting out of the way could have been what he needed this entire time. Ray shouting on Michael Clark. Put the radio. Getting into his feet. Running in a Q, sitting him down with a forearm splash and an elbow. And a jumping forearm this time. He's bringing Q up to his feet. Whipping him off the ropes. He reverses. What's this? An impressive maneuver by Michael Clark. The handspring elbow. his arm up early, signifying that he is not done yet. 
Bloodline. He wasn't even supposed to be in this match. He was supposed to wrestle for the Junior Vader Championship tonight. But Terry Ray stopped all of that. Told Michael that he has to compete against Q this evening. This time it's going to be for the Junior Vader Championship. Number one contender for the Junior Vader Championship. So let's bring him up for an electric chair drop. He psychs him out. And a running drop kick to the corner. Sending Q head first into that bottom turnbuckle. Michael Clark dragging his body to the corner. Are going for a standing slice bread. This could be it. Like a full impact of his move. What's this? Terry Ray is on the apron. Yelling at Michael Clark. Some kind of strategy. I think it might work though. Michael Clark telling Terry Ray to get down. Referee has to stop her. Referee can't make it count. There's a, someone else on the apron. Cues back up. With that super kick. Sending Michael Clark down. He's setting him up. Could it be the springboard moonsault? And he hits it. This could be it. Ring the bell. Oh my God. Q is the new number one contender for the Junior Beta Championship, just like that. All because Terry Ray is the owner. She wants to boss around. And make your own plans. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Michael Clark deserves that number one contendership. He deserves to face Daniel Miraculous for that championship. He's just stealing the victory. Just stealing it. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Terry Ray doesn't care. I can just do whatever she wants like this. I don't know what to say. And Justice has made his way up. Justice turned on the entire ECA audience and he choke slammed his friend, Michael Clark. His, that's who he, he thought they were friends, but Justice staring down the former number one contender, Michael Clark. And Michael says he is ready. He wants justice right now. And justice he will get. Justice, I don't think he's gonna budge though. Michael with his back turn, but justice sets up on the apron. Michael is not gonna let that stop him. Michael slobbering justice. For Bring him to the corner. Here's second in the ring. Stopping Michael. Michael's not happening either. He's, he's beating up Q. And a big boot by Justice. Sending the radio down to the mat. And this is terrible. I thought the cabinet was disbanded. Now we have Justice and Q and Terry Ray out here. And what's just has got in store for Michael? What? Bring him to his feet with just his neck. And a vicious choke slam by Justice. Telling the referee to get out of his way. We need help out here. Justice. Saying justice. He's already won the match. And another choke slam by Justice. I think that's enough. Can't believe what I'm seeing. And fans, that's all we have for you here tonight. We'll be live this Friday night, November 16th at 8 o'clock. Tickets are only $10 here in the VCA studio. For VCA, this is Spencer Beretta. We'll see you this Friday.